Who was George Hamilton? He may have been the first person in Australia to begin the conversation about horse welfare. He served in the Navy before his arrival in Sydney, sometime before 1837. He worked his way south, overlanding sheep and cattle, settling in Adelaide in 1839. George also served as a police commissioner, as well as a service clerk in Treasury. He joined many expeditions, including George Grey and Edward Eyre. He was an accomplished artist, and his illustrations are published in many historic journals. But it was his love of horses that needs to be told. He wrote a book, An Appeal for the Horse. In that book, Hamilton describes the plight of the horse in South Australia and the English notion of horse breaking, which was carried on in Australia. The book begins by explaining to horse owners and grooms the impossible living conditions most horses have in the stables and why the ill-conceived and often cruel methods of training these horses will leave them timid and lame. Hamilton illustrates to these breeders why horses that do not respond to the conventional techniques of training will begin to get better when kept in a more natural environment, outside, not the dark, cold, tiny stables full of cobwebs and dust that can break the horse's spirit and impede their breathing. Hamilton goes on to compare the treatment of horses in other cultures and what has worked and what has not, and appeals to horse owners, breeders and grooms to treat their horses with kindness. He addresses the book to South Australia, but urges the rest of Australia to abandon the ways of the British and as a new young colony, embrace a more humane approach. I can state most positively that in very few instances has kindness failed to improve the horse and in no instance has harshness succeeded in doing so. Hamilton published his horse-related books one at a time when horses were heavily relied upon for everyday activities, including both private and public sector work, including working the land, racing, hunting and the various forms of entertainment. Hamilton's work through horses, through droving livestock, the mounted police and the organisation of exploration expeditions gave him considerable expertise in the management and care of the animals. George's concern for animals dated from his earliest days in Australia. In its pages, he reprimands one of his team for taking out his aggression on one of his horses and describes in great detail the effort they went to to find water for the sheep. He describes watching a country blacksmith make a hoof fit a shoe rather than the other way around, and he reflects on how this must be detrimental to the horse. While the 26-page publication covers numerous aspects of horse mistreatment, Hamilton gave special introduction to his images, which he felt clearly illustrated his key arguments. The treatment of the horse in Australia, he wrote, is illustrated in 11 sketches, in which are represented some, not by any means all, of the trials a horse has to go through from the time he is taken from his native woods until he is reduced to the drudgery of a hackney car. In The Horse, its treatment in Australia, Hamilton wrote that in this country the horse is liable to very few diseases and if it were not for that prevalent epidemic of the horse breaker, the poor animal would have enjoyed a very comfortable existence. Hamilton's views on welfare of horses were informed by his work for the Mounted Police, where he observed many practices that were horrendous. In George Hamilton's final page, he concludes, I cannot 
remark on this subject without recommending all persons who have any living beings under their charge to carefully avoid giving them pain and to strenuously endeavour to administer to their comfort and happiness. And if this golden rule governs the actions of these persons, they will gain a better title to imperishable fame and the gratitude of mankind. Mm -hmm.